That mystery involving bears is still happening. Appalachian Bear Rescue dealing with a strange illness. It's infected six of their bear cubs that they're trying to help. Two of them have died because of it. Yeah, ABR has been working with the University of Tennessee College of Veterinary Medicine to treat the bears and figure out exactly what's going on. Our Caroline Mueller shows us what's happening. Almost half the bears at AVR have been infected with a deadly strain of strep bacteria. With two cubs already dead, the priority is getting and keeping the rest healthy. We're still not 100% sure how our bears came in contact with it. Um, we're just focusing on making sure that they're getting healthy. Thumper gave caretakers a scare over the weekend, but Haley Carr says he's doing much better now. The remaining sick bears seem to be doing well. They are, you know, monitored every day for how they're breathing, um, you know, their fecal, their food, everything like that. We've been working very closely with the vets at UT CVM to make sure that we're doing everything we can and as are they, um, and things are looking up so far. Their physical health isn't the only concern. The cubs are being held in pairs so they don't get lonely. When we originally had Thumper separated um, from the other ones, we could see that his like mental health wasn't great. He was looking for his, you know, his buddies, the ones that he was with since he's been at the rescue. UTCVM is still conducting research, but some doctors suspect the bacteria comes from poultry. They were able to come to this finding with the help of the first infected bear, Flapjack. Unfortunately, he did not make it, but from that and the necropsy, we, they were able to narrow down that strand of bacteria and make sure that we um, started with the correct medications for the other ones that were in that same enclosure with him. She says this is a great time to caution those with chickens and other animals that may carry the bacteria strain. Make sure that they're in clean areas, locked up areas, have you know, hot wire around so that you don't have those wild bears getting into them because we wouldn't want this to be spreading around to the wild population. In Knoxville, Caroline Mueller, WVLT News. ABR holding a couple different fundraisers this week. Part of the money they raise will go toward the bears' veterinary bills. If you want to learn how to help, go to our WVLT News app.